what's going on beautiful people welcome to the channel if you are new here hit that subscribe button and if you're joining me for another video thank you so much for coming back and today let's get into what i have for you all right so as the thumbnail and title suggest in today's video i'm going to be going over how you can create clothing in blender okay now of course you can create clothing with marvelous designer but in today's video i'm going to be showing you how you can do this in blender uh really easily okay so i'm going to be showing you three methods in the course of two videos so in this video i'm going to show you one very easy method and one more complex method and in the next video i show you another method okay so in today's video i have uh, the basketball god from regular show here uh to assist assist us okay so i made this guy uh a little while back and <clears throat> any anyhow the model is going to help us today okay so you can see he has clothing here so let me just go ahead and isolate his body and we can start working okay now the first method i want to show you is very simple and it's the exact method i used to make the socks right here okay so if i go into material preview mode let's give that some time let's actually give that a lot of time okay you can see he has socks okay and you can actually see his beautiful skin now if you're wondering how i make this uh skin i have a video on how to make skin on the channel and that is what i use to get this beautiful skin you can see that very simple skin and i just use that for the entire body okay so uh, the first method i'll show you is actually how i make these socks so let's just go ahead and do this okay so let's make a shirt for him so if I tap into edit mode, you can see I have horrible topology, but this uh, served for what I wanted. So if I want to make a shirt now with this, I can just hold Alt here and hit Control B and bevel this. Now I can select this top one and just move this down and scale this out a bit. Now you can see we have uh, a crease there. So if I tap back into edit mode and scale it out some more, I can just hit Control R, add a loop cut, and you can see we have a shirt distinction. So let's go ahead and make sleeves. Let's Alt Control B, Alt scale this out, then move this, Control R, add a loop cut here, Alt. Control B, Alt, scale this out, scale this out, Control R, okay? Obviously, you can do this with the mirror modifier, but I didn't need to be precise. And you can see we have sleeves. Same thing for um, if you are going to make uh, the neck. I'll use here, Control B, <coughs> Alt scale this out or you can use alt s to just fatten that move this down move this up let me add the loop first Control r move this down okay okay that is obviously the wrong way so for something like the neck you would want to invert that and scale this guy out and control R <clears throat> and add a loop cut. Okay, now the way this is going, I think this will actually be a three part video, but let's see how this goes. Okay, so we, we have a simple shirt right here and you can see this was very easy. Now, the reason you don't want to use this method very often is because this this uh, would deform, might have problems deforming and your clothes might end up stretching a little too much but for something like this character, this is what I will basically do. And I can just create this and use it very easily. Okay. And if I'm, uh, if I'm going to have pants over this, I wouldn't even bother doing this. I would just add sleeves, indications for sleeves and the neck and leave this and just use the pants to cover it up. Okay. So that is the first method. All right. The second method I'm going to show you is, um, Okay, I think we still have enough time. So let's go. Let me go ahead and show you the second method. Okay, so 
I'm going to open this scene again. Let me open a new one. And it's actually the method I used to create this uh, shirt right here and the pants as well. Okay. So let me isolate the body once more and let's create a new shirt. Uh, I'll tab into edit mode. <clears throat> and if you have good topology, you know, I'm going to use another, another model for this. <clears throat> uh, pardon me. Um, Uh, sorry about this. Okay. Okay. So I'm going to use this model for this. So let's say we wanted to make uh, a shirt. Uh, maybe a crop top, but we're going to stop it somewhere around here. I'm just going to do I have my screencast is active. Oh wow. Okay. <clears throat> I think before by the next part I should have screencast keys, so forgive me. So let's just keep going. Uh before our time runs out. So let's select the model and let's create a shirt. Okay, you can see this has <clears throat> excuse me. This has good topology. So we're going to basically select the portions that we want, all right? So I'm just hitting Alt-Z to go into X-ray mode, and I'm going to enter face select mode, and that's this. And you can just use C, and let's just activate symmetry. Okay, symmetry will not work. So just use C, and select the portions you want to become the cloth. Like I said, a crop top and we'll stop around here. Yeah, that is high for a crop top. Stop around here. Now, the only problem is you have to make this selection uniform. Okay, so I'll advise doing this before you apply a mirror modifier. Okay. And just to make this easy, I'll make it a turtleneck for now. Okay. And I use x-ray mode just so I can select the back. Okay. Okay. Just deselect some of these. Okay. <clears throat> Still a bit too high. Okay. Okay, I think this is fine. And now to make the shirt, we'll just hit Shift D and we'll duplicate that. And we'll hit P selection. And we have a shirt right now. So we can tab out, select the shirt, and just hit Alt S and just fatten that a bit. Okay, so before, after, Alt S, fatten that out some. I'm holding down Shift to have final control. And then for Areas like the edges here, we can just select Alt and A to E to extrude and scale it down. And I just added a sub sub modifier now so I can see what's going on better. So let's just Alt S again, Alt S and fatten that out some. Okay, all right. Now you can actually leave it uh, this thin, or you can go ahead and add thickness, but I'm going to show you how to add thickness first. Okay, let me delete this guy. Let me show you how to add thickness in general first, and then I'll show you a simple trick that you can do to uh, save, what I say save, right, and reduce the amount of geometry you have. So very easily, let's go into the modifiers tab and go ahead and add a solidify modifier and you can see we have thickness already okay now there's a very simple way to add thickness okay now say it's something uh thick uh a very simple thing you can do is actually go into edit mode and you can select this edge and hit e and extrude in okay 
and let me go into alt z and zoom in so you see what's going on and i hit e again and just extrude in some alt z and we can just add a loop cut here and you can see this adds thickness uh, or the illusion of thickness but only uh on the edges here so <clears throat> with the solidify modifier we had uh, thickness everywhere but now we have thickness only here and that saves a ton of geometry okay and you can do that for here as well and do that for here as well okay another helpful tip before i end this part of the video is that if your character has breasts okay and i don't have i don't think i would show one with i would just use this model okay if your character has breasts and your topology uh is defined for breasts okay what you would do if you had clothes is that you would edit the topology so that the, the breasts stretch across each other like this, okay? So instead of having to, uh, because cloth, cloth would actually conform to the shape of the breast, but the middle will actually stretch out, okay? I'll try to add a reference if I can to the video while editing, but the middle, the middle will actually stretch out to meet the other guy, okay? So except it is, no, I don't think any material would do that. But if I think basically the middle will stretch out. So do well to just add the topology to fit that. Okay, so nice crop top for our girl here. Okay, let's make this random so we see it. Okay, crop top for our girl here. All right, so, okay, thank you for watching until this part. Uh, this is where I'll cut it to... Go ahead and add the next part so if you want to see the next part just i'll make sure to link it in the description uh drop i'll drop it in the card as well maybe in the end cards as well and um if you don't see it in any of these places just go ahead and check the channel they will drop uh at the same time so you should find them there thank you guys so much for watching i never take your time for granted and it has been fun having you i will see you in the next part hopefully do well to join me